What's going on you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a haircut on my boy Dre right here. We're gonna be doing a mid drop fade. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to do this cut. I know it's been a while. I'm gonna try to give you guys more videos, more tutorials. Um, just been super busy, but first I'm gonna start off with combing out my client's hair and getting it prepped seeing how I'm gonna angle it off. So right here, I'm basically cutting down the sides, getting it prepped, getting my client's sides evened out for this drop fade. So right here, I like to start with my high guard with a three, then I work my way down to a two. So all I'm doing is just kind of prepping before I go ahead and initiate my first guy line with my liners. And be sure to when you're creating your first guy line with your uh, with your liners, don't don't press so hard. So when you when you get to the end of your fade, you don't see a red hard line that you created when you were first doing it. So kind of just do it soft. So on the other side, I'm creating the same guideline in the same order that I did on the other side, making sure it's even. So when I'm fading up on one side, I can go back and tell on how high I did one side compared to the other. So right here, I'm just balding out the bottom of my first guideline. So right here, we're gonna start with our next guideline. I got my one guard and going about an inch above my first guideline that I created. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my two guard. So right here, what I'm doing is now, I'm just kind of like thinning out my sides of my fade. You can kind of see that dark line. I'm just trying to match it with the, the second guideline that I created with that one. <clears throat> I usually start to, I like to start with a higher guard just to play it safe so I don't stretch that fade out too high because I'm only doing a mid fade. I don't want to create it into a high fade. So I'll go from like a three guard to a two guard to a one and a half to a one. And then I'll zero out the bottom line and then I'll work my way in between that and meet, meet in the middle. So right here, I'm just kind of just doing another layer of basically fading, just like how I did with that one guard in the beginning. Um, I could have did this in the first step, but I just, you know, I like to play it safe on how high I'm, you know, I'm stretching up the fade. So I like to, you know, kind of just work my way into the middle. You know, I fade down and then I'll fade back up to meet right back in the middle. So as you can see here, I got my zero guard on now, and then I'll go to a one and meet right back in the middle. Now I got my one guard on, meeting right in the middle. 
you know there's all t you know there's all types of different technique techniques i can show you guys how to fade up i can show you guys how to fade down i can show you how to do both like i did here um that's what i tend to do most um but it's just it's all preference what you what you really decide there's no right or wrong as long as you just get the blend right and so right here i got my my thinning razor just debulking out the sides thinning it out so right here i got my liners my fx I got my graphite 2.0s on there i just customized these probably like a couple of months ago creating that c hook not taking it too far in So after this, we're gonna probably just go back in and add a little bit more detail to this fade. So as you can see here, we're just going back in, touching things up. So now we're gonna go back to our other side of my client's head and basically prep the same way like we did our other side, even it out on the side, making sure where we want our fade and how high we want it. So I'm just laying the sides down, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to get that shadow drop fade look before we start fading up. Now that I see that both sides have that even slope, I'm gonna start to now get into my fade with getting my first step. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some enhancements. This is some Kiss Express 50, you know, alcohol, 50% um, Kiss Express, so 50-50. Right here, we got some pop hair fibers. We're gonna go ahead and touch it up with that. And all this does is just pop out the lineup. You know, gets the printer ready, video shoot ready. And then at the end, we'll go ahead and add some Stronghold Spray. We add a fit, uh, uh, a Stronghold Spritz.
So right here, I'm laying my client back, getting them ready for the razor lineup. And as I get them ready for that, I'm throwing in some beard conditioning in his beard. I like to throw this in my clients that have, you know, a little bit of rough of a beard. It loosens up hairs real, really well without, you know, hurting my client when I'm picking his hair out, you know, combing it out. And then after that, I'll go ahead and throw some beard oil in it. So right here, I'm just putting on some gel on my client because I know he has sensitive skin. Keeping my beard line up wide. And right here, I'm throwing in some, some curl mousse on my client's curls. And then hitting it with the curl sponge on top. And finding those curls. And that's about it folks i appreciate y'all for tuning in i promise to get y'all more videos i'm working on it i got my boy dre right appreciate him for letting me use him for a youtube tutorial he paid me anyways i told him not to appreciate the barber love um appreciate y'all y'all know the rules if y'all like the video if y'all want more videos go ahead and leave a comment like subscribe share this video Whoop-de-whoop, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, y'all see it.